hello everyone welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to add progress bar to your pandas functions right so in case you are working with pandas and maybe you're trying to compute or do a calculation on a particular row of pandas how do you make it more nicer so we're trying to use a very nice package called tqdm to generate a very nice feature right for progress bar in case you are trying to work with pandas so let's start with it i just come back again to my workspace i'm going to load my package to be going to be putting pandas as speedy right so we just want to just create something simple to help us with our stuff so we'll be using numpy to help us with that numpy as mp right perfect and then let's see how to do that so for example let's say i have my data frame let's create a simple data frame which is going to be my df and i just go with pd dot data frame i'm just going to use numpy to generate a simple option so let's call this one as my column right so column one or something like that then I'm just going to generate random values. So numpy dot random dot normal. And I'm just going to normal. I'm just going to generate some random values. So let's say size, let's say two twenty thousand, something like that, right? So this is going to generate twenty thousand values for me for column one. Very nice, right? Random numbers. So in case I want to do to find the sum or to find the square root of this particular column, let's see how to do that. So the simplest way is just go with this option. So we have our column here. So it's going to be my df, then column column one, right? And I just go with this option. See, let's use the dot apply. Then I'll pass in lambda. Right. And I just go, let's say s. Let's give it to the power three, right? S S3, right? Something like that. So if I go with this option, let's time it up. This is going to be using the normal time it. So time. Time it, right? And let's run it so if i run it like this it's going to compute the result right and give it to us right so it took this amount of time and you can see that you don't see anything there you're just running 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 right very nice but in case you also want to generate a very nice progress bar right how do you do that so let's add the progress bar to me so add progress bar so that it's at least when it finishes you know that that you know that it has finished so let's see how to do that so the simplest way is just first of all you just have to import tqdm so tqdm then you just import from so from tqdm import tqdm right that's the first option perfect and now i can just go with tqdm so if just go with the tqdm dot pandas right perfect. so the moment i just go with dot pandas this option is going to activate the panda session for tqdm and i can be able to use it to do whatever i want to do so anytime i apply a function i can just move on from using the normal apply and use progress app apply right so let's try this one out so this will initially initialize it and i'll just go back df the same thing we did here my column one dot progress this time is going to be progress apply right if i go with progress apply now i can now just move on and i'm passing my function or passing whatever thing i want to compute right so let's try it here i'll press it here so in case you have any question or contribution uh, it's like for the moment I start doing that, it's like we have a simple progress bar there, right? Which is going to give us the result. So this is a very useful function, right? So the simplest way to add progress bar to your Python functions, right? You apply is just go with from TQDM import TQDM, then inside your place wherever it is, uh, TQDM dot pandas, right? Then now you can just go with progress apply. That's going to show you the particular progress bar, right? Very simple. This method number one. You can also go with this option here. Is going to be method two, two right in that case, it's going to be tqdm, right? We can just go with say from tqdm dot notebook, right? There's another way you can also do that. You can also use dot notebook, right? So, importing it from dot notebook, then I'm going to import tqdm, right? So, let's call that, let's say, yeah, something like that. This is the second method, right? So, from tqdm dot notebook, that's method number two, then I just go with tqdm dot pandas you can also add a description here as you could see there was there was nothing here but in case i want to add a description here i can also pass in a simple description so let's say describe then let's say let's say mm, cube right cube or something like that if run it like that if it's going to generate that one and if i run the function that i had here this same function above you're going to see what i said here so let's run it again it's going to take some time for it to run it's going to be doing that inside the notebook right 
So now the, the, the color was totally different from this one, right? So the, the normal default one is going to give you this white one, and you can see that it's just normal. But with the notebook, it's going to give you this nice color for the notebook, right? And you could see the description that I had here, Cuba. The Cuba is the description that you have in here, right? Very simple. So that is one of the ways you can apply progress bar to your pandas apply functions so thank you for watching and see you in the next session so to recap simply just go it from tkdm import tkdm then tkdm dot pandas and then that's all see you another time stay blessed bye and one more thing so do you have some materials that below and we also have a patreon channel that you can also support and then get some more materials paka paka